that would be like gorgeous for a dramatic nighttime smoky eye. Love it. Or a daytime smoky eye. Why not? I always know makeup's really good when it makes me talk to myself. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a little swatches and review video for you today on the new Makeup Geek matte shadows. So some of their new colors that came out and also the duochrome shadows and the duochrome pigments. So quite a few of these were sent to me with no obligation to review. This is not sponsored, nothing like that. Um, they just sent them to me and let me try them out and I am sharing them with you because I love Makeup Geek and I know that a lot of you guys do too and a lot of you were asking about these and then some of them I purchased myself. So I'm just gonna run through, show you some swatches and just give you my overall impressions and review on these. So let's jump into it. So really quickly, I wanna go over pricing and packaging. So the matte shadows and the duochrome shadows are all $6 a piece, so an amazing price there. Um, I think it's awesome that they made the duochrome $6 a piece. I think that's really, really nice. Um, and these just all come in their little pans that you can put them into a Z palette or something like this, like it's a little sewing utensil holder, something or other. I don't know. I got it at Joann's and it was like $6. Works really well. And then the pigments are all um, $12 a piece. They have really pretty outside packaging. The shadows did too, the duochromes. Um, as far as packaging on these, like the actual jars, so they look really beautiful. Um, I did something wrong with a couple of them, I think. So mine came with the little jars and then the little sifters were um, separate, like in my shipping box or whatever. So I put it on this one and I got it right, I guess, because it's, you know, it screws on, if I can get it back on. So this one screws on just fine, the lid. But then these other two that I got, um, I don't, I must not have the sifter like pop down on there right or something because it's not closing very well and I feel like I'm going to break it. So I'm thinking I just did something wrong. I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, I got this one right, but they look really pretty. They're like a kind of a gunmetal, almost like a rose gold gunmetal. It's really, really pretty. So excited about these. Okay, so I've zoomed you in so that you can see the colors a little better. So we're going to start with the matte shadows. We're gonna start with this top row. So this one is Sorbet, Petal Pusher, Concrete Jungle, Vintage, and Curfew. Second row, this is Morocco, Cherry Cola, Americano, Dragonfly, and Booberry. So there are those. Let me show you some swatches. Okay, so we're gonna start on this side. So this is the top row that I just showed you. This is Sorbet. Petal Pusher, Concrete Jungle, Vintage, and Curfew. Next, this is Morocco, Cherry Cola, Americano, Dragonfly, and Booberry. So you can see these all swatch really nicely. I think that there's really some fun, unique colors here. Um, they're just kind of different. Like, Curfew is really cool. Booberry is just like a really, um, I don't know, like soft, cornflower sort of a blue. I think it's really pretty. Um, they all have a really nice texture. The only ones that I had a little bit of blending problems with were Americano and Cherry Cola, but I think it had a lot more to do with the brush that I was using because these are very pigmented colors and they really do stick where you place them. So I was using a brush that was just kind of um, a cheaper brush and sort of like scratchier bristles, so it was really sticking. Whereas once I switched to a better brush that just blends more easily and it's just softer, it was fine. So I would say use some of your softer brushes with these two especially. So don't use your cheaper ones. Use something that blends a little bit better and I think that you'll be just fine. But look at Morocco. Can we just talk about that color? Because that is amazing. Oh my goodness. I really like these. Okay, now for the duochrome shadows. So starting with the top row, this one is Voltage. Mai Tai, Steampunk, Ritzy, Havoc, Typhoon, Phantom, and Blacklight. So you can just kind of see them. Once I swatch them, you'll be able to see the duochrome a lot better, but really, really fun shadows. I could seriously stare at these shadows all day from every different angle because they are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, 
I start at the top of the little um, palette I just showed you. So this one is Voltage. Kind of like got like gold, green, white going on. This one is Mai Tai. It's kind of like a pink and corally sort of color. This one is Steampunk and it's kind of like a blackened burgundy. Oh my gosh, and when you blend it out, like a lot more of that like blackened undertone comes out. It's so pretty. That would be like gorgeous for a dramatic nighttime smoky eye. Love it. Or a daytime smoky eye. Why not? This one is Ritzy. It's kind of like a green, red, well not green. Where do I get green? No, not green. Yellow, red kind of a mix. I was looking at this one. This one is Havoc, and this one has a lot of green in it. It's kind of like a blue-brown pigment sort of a look to it. It's awesome. That next one is Typhoon. This one's a very kind of like mermaid, green, white, gold. Oh, it's so good. These two, holy moly. I have these on my lower lash line, and they're incredible. This one is Phantom. It's kind of like a pink, white, shift to it. Oh my gosh. And this one is black light. This one's like a pink, purple, blue, white. I mean, it's like got so much going on. I don't even know. It's so good. Oh, I love these. So pretty. And after the three pigments that I have to show you, just wait. These are going to blow your mind. They are so good. So I'm actually going to show you in the lids. Um, that way I don't make a huge mess but also I can kind of like turn them and show you a little better in the lids. Some of mine look a little funny, like you'll see little spots taken out of them because that's how I get the product out, which works really well. So you don't even have to like dig into the pot. You can just take it from the lid. So that's what I do a lot. Anyway, this one is Sugar Rush. I've got this on the inner corner of my eyes today and it is so beautiful. It's like a white with a lot of different things going on. So like pink, teal, purple, blue, gorgeous. You'll be able to see the, like the shift better once I show you the actual swatches versus just the product um, in the lid. This one is wildfire and it's like a wildfire. I mean it's like pink, copper, orangey, gold. So pretty. This last one, if you get one thing from everything that I'm mentioning, get this one. This is Kaleidoscope. I've got this on my lids today and it is incredible. It's like a, I don't know, it's kind of like blackened, but then it's sort of purpley, blue, white, pink, teal. It's just like a rainbow of colors. It's so pretty. Let me show you swatches. Okay, so here they are swatched. So this one is Sugar Rush. This one is Wildfire. And there's Kaleidoscope. Amazing. Kaleidoscope, when I put this on my lids today, I actually said out loud, oh my gosh. I always know makeup's really good when it makes me talk to myself. <laughs> and I was definitely talking to myself over Kaleidoscope because it is just so incredible. There's so much happening with it. And Wildfire is gorgeous too. And I think Sugar Rush pairs really nicely with Kaleidoscope, so they work together so nicely. So you can probably already tell from the video, but my overall impressions and review on all these shadows and these pigments is that I absolutely love them. As far as must-haves, you know, matte shadows are essential in your collection just to be able to really ground an eye look and be able to blend out different colors because you wouldn't just want to wear the duochromes by themselves. I mean, I guess you could do like a one shadow look, but it's a lot easier when you have some matte shadows to be able to blend and just kind of round out an eye look. So favorites would be um, Curfew, Vintage, Petal Pusher, and Morocco. I really love those. I love them all, but those are the standouts for me as far as the mattes go. For the Duochrome shadows, you know, I think these are so cool because these are a little bit more subtle than the pigments, so I think that they can make a really nice still work appropriate but fun eye look. So that's why I really, really love these. Oh man, these two are definitely must have. So Phantom and Blacklight. But I also really love um, Ritzy and Havoc because they have that like, I don't know, blue brown pigment sort of a look to them. So yeah, but I love them all. It's so hard to choose favorites. Then the pigments, all of them, 
all of them for sure, but if you pick just one, kaleidoscope, absolutely. But I love the other two also. It's really hard to choose because they're all incredible. All right guys, so that wraps up this swatches and review video on the new Makeup Geek matte shadows and also their duochrome collection. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below some of your must-haves from Makeup Geek in general, but also like under these umbrellas, the matte shadows, but also the duochromes. I would love to know some of your must-haves. Ask me any questions, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.